ya umidin ya kana bwa ya kana stain idina suratul mustaqim suratul azam taalihim gurum dubal wala dolin amin allahumma salli ala sayidina muhammad al fatih li mawgliq wala khatil masabak nasalak blak wala hadi ila suratul mustaqim wa ala ali akun qurbam dal azim adara sufuf al malaika wa tasbihin wa taqdisin wa tamidin wa tamjidin wa takbirin wa taalihim yawm khalaqta dunya ila yawm al qiyamati salatan tamlau al azza wal abar zamanan makana madrubatan fi kulli zamani wa makani adada ma fi almika ya allah ya wa'id ya ad wa tab lana bi ma'ad al fadl wal amni wal madad mal al aqtab wal mufati wal afrad allahumma amin wa mawduna fi adha al yawm eid al kabir our topic for today is eid al kabir wa mawduna fi adha al yawm eid al kabir what we will be discussing today is eid al kabir as the day is approaching we will will be telling us about that giving us evidences of that in the holy quran and the hadiths of the prophet nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to serve as tazkira as remembrance for us all eid al kabir also known as eid al adha is a significant festival in islam that commemorates the willingness of prophet ibrahim alayhi salatu wasallam to sacrifice his son ismail alayhi salatu wasallam as an act of obedience to almighty allah's command This event is seen as a testament to faith, obedience and perseverance and also total submission to the will or command of God Almighty Allah. Muslims worldwide celebrate Eid al-Adha by attending congregational prayers, slaughtering animals and sharing the meat with families, friends and the needy. The festival symbolizes the willingness to give up things that are beneficial or close to one's heart in obedience to Almighty Allah's commands. It also emphasizes the importance of respecting and protecting human life and dignity. The Prophet Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam highlighted the significance of this festival stating that it is a commemorative sunnah of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasallam and that it is a natural expression of homage and gratitude to the creator the Lord Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Eid al-Adha Eid al-Mubarak Eid yatafal bi al-muslimun fi jami' arja'il al-'alam This Eid is celebrated worldwide by all Muslims in the whole world Wa ba'd al-muslimun yusamma Eid al-Adha bi Eid al-Kabir Some Muslims call this Eid al-Kabir Eid al-Adha This Eid al-Adha is called by some Muslims in the parts of the world as Eid al-Kabir some call it Eid al-Nar and some call it Eid al-Hujjaj countries like Palestine Lebanon Misra that's Egypt Cairo like that while Maghrib wa Tunis Iraq the Tunisia people all the northern parts of the world while Jazeera wa Sudan wa Syria all of them they call it Eid al-Kabir and Ardon but in some parts of the world they call it Eid al-Qurban like Iran now they call it Eid al-Qurban while some Eid al-Hujjaj for Bahrain and in Bahrain it is called as Eid al-Hujjaj wa fi Turkey is some Qurban Bayramu and in Turkey it is called Qurban Bayramu and we'll be giving us the evidences or the proofs we can see in the Holy Quran that's in Surah Al-Safat and we'll read the verses I read from verse 100 to verse 111. God Almighty Allah said, "By the list, as our basmala, that's the prayer of Prophet Ibrahim, alayhi salatu wasalam, when he said, 'Rabbi, I believe in a soul in, for by sharing I will be gulam in halim, for I'm a balagama usaya, call I abunaya ini arafli manami ani abbauka, fanzur mazatara, call I abati ifal matumar." Satayji duni insha Allah mina sabirin. Falama aslama wa talau lil jebin wa na daina wa an ya Ibrahim. Kodi sadaqta ruya inna kadhalika naizli musayin inna adha lahu al balau al mubin wa fadaina wa bizibin azim wa tarakna alayhi fil akhirin salamun ala Ibrahim kadhalika naizli musayin inna wa min ibadina al muminin. That's what we'll be discussing. The first prayer of Prophet Ibrahim is that Rabbi Abliminas Salain that O oh Lord please bless me with a blessed child 
a good child, a child that will be a worthy child, not just an ordinary child, not a bad child, not a child with bad characteristics, not a child with bad attributes. He prayed to his Lord, and God Almighty Allah answered his prayer by saying, Father Sharno be Gulam Alim. And we gave him good news about him having a son that will be begetting a son. He later begot a son, which is Ismail, alayhi salatu As this goes on, he now had a dream. God Almighty Allah said, Falamu bala gama usaya, kola ya buna ya ini arafil manami, and ni adbauka fanzurma zatara. One day he had a dream. He now called his child. Uh, he has gotten to a particular age. He's not just a toddler. He has gotten to a particular age, not just an infant or a toddler. He wasn't a baby then. He has gotten to a stage that his father can discuss something with him, sharing things with him that he can comprehend. He has gotten to a stage that and a particular age that he has comprehension that he can comprehend whatever his father tells him. His father now told him that very day that yeah, Buna ya, oh my son, inni ara filimanami and ni asbaoka. I saw in my dream that I was slaughtering you. I had that dream that I was slaughtering you in my dream. Fanzurma Zatara. About what I told you just now, what can you say about this? What do you think will now happen? And what was the response of Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam? He said, Call I abati, oh my father. If all more tumor, he said, Oh my father, do what your Lord has commanded you to do. Fulfill the will and commandment of God Almighty Allah. If all more tumor, Sataji Duni inshallah mina sobirin, you will find me patient. I will become a patient soul. I wouldn't shake whenever you are slaughtering me. I will follow your will. I will follow the will of God Almighty Allah. God Almighty Allah now said, Falamma Aslam. When both of them accepted this, the, the father accepted that I will be killing my son, I will be slaughtering him. And the son also accepted the fact that he will be slaughtered, he will be killed. What Allah will He now took him to a particular valley where he will kill him. He placed him on the valley like that with his left hand side. God Almighty Allah said, Wana Dainau and Ya Ibrahim was about slaughtering him, putting a knife on his neck. And in some Afar's description, what they said is that he was already slaughtering him, but the knife did not cut his throat. Neither does, neither did any blood come out when he did that. One a dino and Ya Ibrahim, and God Almighty Allah now calling, Ow, Ya Ibrahim, oh you Ibrahim, call this a doctor, Ruya. You fulfilled what you saw in your dream, you have made into reality. This is now something that is convincing already. It's not that you are having any doubts. Call this a doctor, Ruya. You fulfilled what you saw in your dream. And you are already making this into a reality. Inna kadalika noizle musinin. This is how we, Almighty Allah, will repay everyone that does good, everyone that is doing good deeds. This is how we reward them abundantly. Inna adala wal bala wal mubin. What we have told you to do is a great thing to do. This is actually a bad omen. This is a bala. This is a problem that is of great or higher degree that no ordinary man can do this for us, if not that he is a Muslim. That is the person belonging to the highest daraja of the three darajas of Islam. We have the Makomotle Islam, we have the Makomotle Iman, and we have the Makomotle Isan. The Makomotle Islam, that is the lowest daraja, that is the lowest rank. The Makomotle Iman, that's the intermediary derajat. That's the intermediary rank. But the Makomotole Isan, that's the highest derajat. 
So Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, he has gotten to that particular stage. He has gotten to that particular rank. He has gotten to that particular daraja. That's the daraja of his son. God Almighty Allah said, Inna kaddalka nizli musinin. Inna adha lawa al-balaw al-mubin wa fadainaw bizibin azim. And what we gave him in replacement, the knife must cut something. The knife must see blood. Is that you should now kill a big ram. A ram that is very big. Instead of you now killing your son, you must kill this ram in a replacement for his soul. Rather than killing him, you kill this in a replacement for him by saving his life with that particular ram. God Almighty now said, Watarakna alayhi fil akhirin. And we make this something that the people coming will be doing. Salamun ala Ibrahim. Oh, the peace of God Almighty Allah be upon Ibrahim. Alayhi salatu wasalam. This is how we Almighty Allah repay those that do good. In no woman, a bad no woman. God Almighty Allah said, This Ibrahim, O you Ibrahim, in no woman, a bad no woman. Ibrahim is one of our servants, al muminin that believe in us without any doubts. That's what God Almighty Allah said about Ibrahim. And this is evidence in the Holy Quran about we celebrating this particular Eid, this Eid al-Adiya. Mina sunna ni la muwakada yom al-Eid al-Adiya dhabu al-Adoi wal-Aida minia lil fukura wal-Mutajin of the sunna that is a commemorative sunna is to kill on this particular day and you gift, you serve as gift, part of the killing that you'll be doing. One will be for your family, a part will be for your family, a part will be for the Aljaroi, the neighbors, those that you live together, and to the needies, those that don't have anything to kill. While you don't mean little fukura, you give to the poor, while mutajin, and those that need it that they don't have the power, they don't have the money to kill, and the third part will be for our family. What is short la shurut mukarara fi kutub al fiki wa islami tataallak binoya wa sinia wa sifatia wa siyatia from different or relative books of fiki al islami the fiki books that explain this islam religion tata yeah. Tata'allak binawiyah 